YouTube University. I want to just show you this little tool here. Uh, someone will probably put it to use. I'm not really not proud that I did. Uh, it'd be better if I could just have new shit or pay people to do it. But this may be useful to someone. This is a homemade bead breaker. And I made it in about 15 minutes. I just took an old T-post, cut the bottom of it at an angle, and I found that old shackle plate off of a trailer. And there's a T-post fence driver. Just set it on there. Go to town on it like you're putting a fence post in the ground. Most important thing is have soap and water. Soap and water makes all the difference in the world. But this little bead breaker does work. They make slide hammer bead breakers. Different companies make them. And I thought, why not just use what I got here? See if it works. And it does work. That shackle worked out well because it was kind of in the shape of like a duck bill. And goes right down in there. Works well. So if you want to use what you have at home and make a little, make a little driver, that's what it'll look like. I already broke this tire down and repaired the tube, so this is helpful to you. Keep learning and sharing. There it is, nothing to it. Just took a little bit of time. You know, break the bead. That seems to big, be the biggest problem, is just breaking the bead. So if you want a homemade bead breaker, you got some metal on a welder. There you go.